X finally here. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this moment, but Microsoft just released the first Microsoft 365 Copilot applied skill, which is the first Microsoft 365 Copilot credential to come out. And this one is for IT professionals. It's the prepare security and compliance to support Microsoft 365 Copilot applied skill and it's available today. For those of you that don't know much about applied skills, let me give you a quick 20 second introduction. Applied skills are the new Microsoft verified scenario based credentials that prove that you have a skill in a critical business challenge. The differences with credentials is that applied skills validate a very specific skill set. So they are very specific, not broad for a full role. They are project based. They are hands on. So you don't have multiple choice questions. You don't need to remember PowerShell parameters by heart. Everything is hands on. It's open book. You have full access to the internet like you do in your day to day job. And the best part, they are absolutely free. So you can get your first Microsoft 365 Copilot credential for free right after watching this video. But before you go do that, the link will be in the description below, but let's cover together what you need to know before you get started. And let's start with a quick overview. To earn this Microsoft Applied Skill Credential, learners demonstrate the ability to prepare Microsoft 365 security and compliance to support Copilot for Microsoft 365. Candidates for this credential should be familiar with Microsoft 365 services, Microsoft Defender XDR, Microsoft Entra, Microsoft Intune, and Microsoft Purview. Wow, I'll be honest, that is quite the list. And last week, I did a video about this credential coming up, and I wasn't sure if it was gonna be a lot of Purview, a lot of SharePoint Premium, but I'll be honest, I didn't really expect to have Defender, XDR, and Intune in there. So I'll definitely have to study a little bit before I go take this applied skill. But let's go a bit more in detail. For applied skills, Microsoft publishes the tasks that you need to be able to perform, and it's probably three or four or maybe two of those things that you will have to do hands-on as part of your applied skills. So let's take a look at them. First, you'll need to know how you can prepare your Microsoft 365 environment to support Copilot for Microsoft 365. You'll need to know how to configure identity governance to support Copilot for Microsoft 365. By the way, they did not rename it here. It should be Microsoft 365 Copilot. A small detail, it has recently been rebranded by Microsoft, so I'm sure we'll get the proper name uh, here soon as well. Uh, you'll also need to know how to configure device management to support Microsoft 365 Copilot, how to configure and manage compliance settings for Microsoft 365 Copilot, and finally, how to configure and manage access to information for Microsoft 365 Copilot. Okay, I don't know about you, but I love this list, but at the same time, it tells me nothing. It's so big, it's like, you just need to know how to prepare for Copilot for everything in your IT environment. So, you know what, let's go open up the study guide that Microsoft provides that goes a lot more in detail on how you can prepare. So I'm here in the browser right now. I'm on the applied skills page. You will have the link to it in the description below the video. But you see we have the prepare security and compliance to support Microsoft 365 Copilot applied skill. And I could just go and take the assessment right away if I wanted to, but I cannot show you that part. So what we will do for now is let's scroll towards the bottom and really important, you see you will have two hours to complete this assessment. So quite a lot of time, I expect it to be quite big, but I guess I'll find out when I do it. I Again, 
I'm honest, I still need to study a little bit before I go take it. I hope to take it in the next week or so. Uh, but what I want to show you is the study guide for the applied skills. If I click on it, here is where you will see all the different details in detail about what you need to know before you go take the applied skill. So for the prepare your Microsoft 365 environment to support Copilot, you need to know how to configure Copilot related settings in Defender for Office 365, including preset security policies and analytics. You need to know how to configure Copilot related settings in Defender for Cloud Apps. Wow. You need to know how to configure Copilot access to Microsoft Graph connectors and plugin. You need to know how to select an appropriate Microsoft 365 apps channel, how to configure tenant level settings for Copilot for Office. I guess this should be Microsoft 365 Copilot, including your Edge browser settings, unified audit log and more. Then if we go into the identity governance requirements for Microsoft 365 Copilot, you need to know how to configure security defaults. I'll be honest, most companies that invest in Copilot probably will use conditional access, which is way more advanced and is the next item here. So you need to know how to configure conditional access policies for Copilot and how to configure access to Copilot, of course, including users, groups, privileged access and access reviews. Wow, quite a few things to know. We then have the device management part again. I will not cover it all because it might change a little bit in the future. I'd rather show you where you can go get the latest information. However, one of them that I really wanted to show you, really important, when I did the video last week, one of the things I wasn't sure about, will they cover SharePoint Premium as well? And there's not a lot of SharePoint Premium in the supplied skill, except this one, configure SharePoint site access reviews. Now this feature is brand, brand, brand new. So a lot of you might need to go get a SharePoint premium trial in order to have access to SharePoint site access reviews and then be able to test it, play around with it and everything. So make sure you go play around with SharePoint premium. There's a ton of videos on my channel if you want to get started, but yeah, so we have Purview, we have SharePoint Premium, we have Defender for Office 365, Defender for Cloud Apps, uh, we have data loss prevention, sensitivity labels, Intune. This is a pretty big applied skill and I'll be honest, it kind of reflects the challenges that organizations have to get Copilot ready. It's not only one product, but it's about 10 different products that you need to configure properly for a successful Copilot deployment. But now my question for you is, are you taking the supply skill? I don't know about you, but I am super excited about it. I can't wait uh, to take it. Uh, a few more things than I expected to be on it, but hopefully in the next week, we will talk on LinkedIn or in the chat or in the comments on YouTube and we will all have passed it. So. Uh, let me know in the comments, do you plan to take it? Did you already take it? Uh, let me know what you thought about it. Does it actually reflect what a Copilot deployment is like? And make sure that you share this video with your IT professional friends. I really think that getting Copilot ready will be a big topic towards the end of 2024 and even all of 2025 because so many organizations might not be buying Copilot yet, but they will all for sure work towards getting Copilot and AI ready. So I definitely think every Microsoft 365 IT Pro should go get the supplied skill. So make sure you share this video on LinkedIn, challenge your IT Pro friends, your colleagues, to go past it as well. And let's all make sure that we have more secure Microsoft 365 environments. This is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed, you found it valuable. And if you want to get the latest Microsoft credentials and Copilot news, make sure you subscribe to the channel and please like this video if you enjoyed it. It would be very, very appreciated. Thanks again for watching.